right, next up, we have Jessica Nichols, who is the development director at Camp Oakland. Hello, yes. Welcome, Hi, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. Uh, what, what brings you by today? What do you want to talk about today? So uh, Camp Oakland has a couple events coming up and I wanted to kind of uh, spread the word about that, but also just kind of like uh, tell everyone about Camp Oakland, what we do and kind of raise awareness because we are, we've been around since like 1951, but a lot of people don't know where we are because we're geographically tucked back in there. Yeah. And so I thought it'd be a nice uh, way to kind of introduce myself because I just started uh, June of last year. Oh, wow. And then kind of talk a little about Camp Oakland and all the things that we do. All right, well, where is it located? So is it part <laughs> of the complex? Uh... Uh, so we are um, in Oxford. Oh, uh, you're we in are, Oxford? Yep, okay. so we're right off of Drainer Road. We actually have 160 acres. Uh, we used to have 320 acres, but we sold half of our land, and then so the north side's still there. Um, we have a bunch of buildings on campus. We have three different units there. Um, we have a girls' unit, a boys' unit, and then um, we have another boys' unit that is primarily for those who are on their GED track. So we have those three. So it's geared toward younger people. Uh, how does a young person wind up with yes. your services? So the kids who come to Camp Oakland, they're between 14 and 17. Uh, they've offended in some sort of capacity, whether it's small charges, big charges, kind of depends. They've offended in some way. Um, and they go through the juvenile court systems and uh, they normally go to like a children's village or a Dickerson or a more institutionalized place first and they get placed somewhere else like us, we're non-secure. Um, so where those those um, places are a lot more kind of like like a jail where they're they're a lot more institutionalized We're a lot more of the rehabilitative side of it. Mm -hmm. So we're non-secure um, the kids there like so they go through the court system to answer your question We get mm -hmm. a referral they get placed here and then um, they go to school on site by Oxford School District teachers um, they receive all the therapies they need um, and like I said, we do a lot of rehabilitative things for them. Um, like you said before with the cops and coffee, we had the cops come out to the um, camp too and talk to the kids and kind of mm -hmm. build that rapport too with them too because they haven't always had the best you know, experience with police. Wow. Do they live yeah. on yes. campus? <clears throat> so they live on campus in the separate you know, uh, units. Um, anywhere between six to 12 months, it just kind of depends on like what the judge says that their sentence is essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and then once they, they meet their, their levels, you know, if they have good behavior and stuff, then they successfully are able to leave the program and go back, whether it's um, to their home or back on probation or whatever it, it is mm -hmm. that the judge says. Wow, okay. what would you say your success rate is at Camp Oakland? So, I mean, it, it, I guess it's hard to, to tell necessarily, but most of the kids who come, um, we have very few repeaters that come back. Um, it really just depends on the situation. A lot of these kids come from some really like sad backgrounds. Um, it's all throughout the state of Michigan, but primarily most of the kids we get are, are Oakland and Wayne County. Um, and a lot of these kids come from abuse, neglect, um, just really sad environment. So they, they might do awesome at Camp Oakland, the structure, they thrive, and then it depends on if they go home back in the same environment. Mm -hmm. It kind of just depends on how they do. Um, but those who leave Camp Oakland with either their GED or their diploma, because we work for the kids for both those, mm. um, it's a less than 10% chance that they reoffend. Oh, so that's, that's huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've all done kind of stupid things when we were kids. And uh, it's got to be nice yeah. to not throw your life away, to be given yeah. this second chance. Absolutely. And, you know, I always say, too, if I was 16 and I was left my own devices, who knows, you know, what would have happened, you know? Um, and so yeah. when they come to Camp Oakland, a lot of times this is the first time where people really, like, care about them. And they're like, yeah. no, you have rules. You have to follow these things. And so they struggle for a little bit, but a lot of them really thrive. I mean, kids need structure. Yes. And one of the things that I've been working on, too, um, with our, it's called our LPC unit. Uh, it stands for Life Preparation Center. Those are the young men who are um, on track to get their GED. Yeah. Um, I've implemented a career workshop where I have different people um, from the community come out um, for like two hours, once a week, come and talk about different career paths, whether it's plumbing, HVAC, financial advisors. Um, I had a, a bunch of local people come and just chit chat with them about things they might not have to go to college for, because that might mm -hmm. not be, college isn't for everyone. Right. And I feel like um, the trades are a big thing now, and so I'm trying to give them different options so when they leave, they have one more resource they can go to. 
Wow, yeah. that's fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. I love that, and I love that approach because yeah. it's, they're going into a caring, nurturing environment and getting skills and things that they need to be able to survive out in Absolutely. the world. Absolutely. Not just being, you know, put behind bars and here, serve the sentence, yeah. but actually trying to make a difference. Absolutely, and, and, yeah. and our golf outing that we have, I'll talk about a little bit, it's called Every Child Deserves a Chance, and that's 100%, yeah. you know, yeah. our, our motto and mission is, you know, these kids deserve a chance. You know, they might have made a poor choice or two, but you know, they deserve the chance to redeem themselves and they, they aren't who they are, who they are isn't like the mistakes that they've made, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I think it's really important for them to understand, you know, the reasons why they may have made the choices they have and what they can do differently next time and really focus on the bigger picture. Yeah. So that golf okay. outing is Thursday, August 2nd at Boulder Point Golf Club in Oxford. It is. Individual tickets are 150 and a foursome is 600. It is. So Cape Oakland uh, depends on fundraisers. You want to yes. talk about yep. that? Yes, yep. So we are nonprofit, so we rely heavily on donations and donors and uh, fundraising events and such like that. Mm -hmm. um, we do get um, per diem per kid from the county um, mm -hmm. when they come in, but operational costs, running, I mean, we have 160 acres. So in order yeah. to be able to provide all the resources, um, all of the, the tools and the, the things that we provide for them, like the career workshop, we really re pro, uh, rely on people and their, their funds to help do that. Yeah. Um, so yep, we have the golf outing coming up. This will be our 28th year doing that. Um, super exciting. Uh, it's a Boulder Point. It's a really fun time. You know, the weather should be great. Last year it was a, a wonderful turnout. Yeah. Um, and then another thing we have, it's our first year we're doing it. It's um, our Kentucky Derby Run for the Roses. That's Ooh. Fundraising Ooh, awards that fun. uh, dinner. And so I'm super excited about it. We, um, <laughs> it's going to have uh, Night at the Races. It's a company that comes out. They MC the whole event. They have pre-recorded horse races. Um, people place bets, you know, and it's yeah. like a true 50-50. Half the pot goes to Camp Oakland for fundraising. The other half goes to the winner. Um, we're going to have awards for our biggest donor of the year, our biggest uh, volunteer. It's going to be a really fun time, and I, I'm really hopeful that the people who aren't maybe into golf will be more excited about yeah. this. You know, it kind of gives both people options. Who doesn't love a good theme party? Right? Well, <laughs> you know, the attire is required. You have to wear, you know, derby okay. derby attire and yeah. the hats. And oh, you got to. Yeah. Well, yeah. And yeah. We're actually, to make it even more fun, the gentlemen included, but for mostly the ladies, we're going to have a pop-up shop where um, we're going to have different vendors and boutiques there so that yeah. the ladies can go shopping for a, a outfit for the event. Oh. We thought that'd be super fun to yes. like kind of incorporate that. So yeah. yeah, so exciting things. So I'm really hopeful there'll be a good turnout for that. Yeah, that so sounds like a lot of fun. White Horse Inn at Metamora. Yep. Oh, yeah. And Metamora, the White Horse Inn, which I'm the White Horse Inn, perfect for Kentucky Derby theme yeah. party. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. There'll be open bar. Um, there'll mint be juleps. mint juleps, <laughs> signature oh. drink for drink sponsors. <laughs> um, there'll be um, an interactive photo booth. Uh, Mike Hawker from Hawkman Entertainment. He's actually yeah. providing the photo booth there. That's so awesome. I try to incorporate a lot of our local um, people too to help support. Um, but it should be a really fun time. Like I said, we're going to have uh, the MC there. Uh, for the night, there'll be raffle baskets. Um, it's just going to be a really fun time. Tickets are um, $90 up until March 14th, mm -hmm. and then they are $100. Um, and there's a bunch of sponsorship opportunities available as well, and those have tickets, too, included in them. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That so if someone wants to find out more about these events, do you have a website? Talk about we do, website. yep. It's campoakland.org. Um, they have to go to that, and then you go to the events page, and then super simple, it'll say register now, click on that, and you select what you want to do, and then you can go from there. That's awesome. That's great. Again, talk about, reiterate, uh, the, the money that's raised from these fundraisers. Yes. Talk about how they go to work at Camp Oakland. Yeah, so all the funds go directly back into the camp. Um, we do different outings for the kids. We have recreation um, money that's allotted for each of the units. You know, we buy them different snacks. We take them to um, the well. We take them um, rollerblading or roller skating. It just depends. Some They have to obviously earn their weeks, but we do when sure. we provide these things to them. We have um, teacher's pet which is dogs and, and children working together. It's a really great program and you know, that costs money too. So all of the things that we're doing for the kids, you know, we have to fund them in some way. So all that money goes to, to the different programs we have um, to be able to build, uh, we're having the LPC kids build a shed. So tools and wood, all the things that we have that go into there, it comes from all the fundraising. So it's really important, you know, that we're able to get that from people. You know, I can't yeah. help but think, imagine, a young person making a bad decision. They go before a judge. They think their life is over. Mm -hmm. They get sent to Camp Oakland, and someone says, uh, lace up your skates. We're going skating, and they're like, <laughs> what? Uh, I could imagine just 
how relieved they must be to be able to experience that. Well, yeah, and I, like I said, it's like the bigger picture. Instead of, you know, reprimanding them, yeah, they made poor choices. We want to reflect and like to, to, to make sure they do better next time. But also we want to make sure that they know that they're cared for, that people are there rooting for them, and we want to see them succeed. So we're going to reward your good behavior, and we're going to be able to do these things where they might not have had a chance to do that before, honestly. Okay. Right. You know, I'm curious, and I hope I'm not throwing this out at you, <laughs> but have you ever had people come back who benefited from this program and speak to hundred percent. So Talk actually, uh, the first resident ever, um, his name is Hillary. He is 85 this year. Wow. He, um, he is heavily involved in Camp Oakland. You know, he's along the way he's, he's made appearances. He, you know, he comes to all of our events. Um, and actually, I have one of our other gentlemen, um, I won't say his name just in case, but he's actually coming back to talk to the kids for the career workshop and to talk to him about his business, how he created from scratch, how you know Camp Oakland really made a difference in his life. And he attributes that, you know, him, him doing so well and being so successful to that. Wow. So that's huge, you know? And so I feel like it's really great for those kids too to see that and to see that, you know, they're willing to give back and they want to come back and show the kids, you know, hey, you can, you can make something of your life just because you made a bad choice doesn't mean it defines you. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. It's wonderful. Yeah, that's great. I, know. I love it. So, yeah, for more information, visit campoakland.org for mm -hmm. upcoming fundraisers or mm -hmm. just for more information. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I assume, you know, other than just the fundraisers, if anybody feels they want to just make a donation, they are absolutely. welcome to do that yes, as well. Absolutely, yes, <laughs> please. Yep, that, there is a Donate Now button on yeah. our website, <laughs> too. You yep. Of yeah. course. So, that. Yeah. Although, I don't know, the events sound like fun to me. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and since we're a nonprofit, too, it's all a write-off for taxes, too, which people don't necessarily know that. So that that's a huge incentive too, you know. Yeah. You can you can provide support but also you can, you know, make sure that you get that at the end of the year too. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. that's nice. All right. Fantastic. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, Anything thank else you. you want to add? I think that's it for now. If, if anyone has any more uh, questions or information, uh, my contact information is on the website as well. I'd love okay. to to help anyone understand what we do and to meet with people. That's awesome. That's well, great. thank you, and we'll help yes. continue to spread the word about these upcoming yeah, events. Yeah, thank you so much. Maybe we'll get out to these events and Yeah, some hopefully we'll see you there. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. would be fun. Let's go, Joe. <laughs> <laughs>